In this second part about whip fishing, I want to just go through some of the basics and show you some fishing with uh, my Browning profile whip on the bank and show you how I attach the rig to the end of the whip. Very, very simple. No need for anything clever. Uh, this system works and the whole idea of it is to make sure there's nothing on the end of the whip that can catch the line because you're you're flicking over and you will hear people talking about alternatives there are, there are devices like Stonfo devices that you glue onto the end of the whip but as the line turns over it's going to catch behind that and the same people put bits of um, Dacron on the end it's all right for a proper pole fishing, but with a whip, you don't want the line catching around anything on the end of the whip. And even with that knot behind the silicon that you'll see in a minute, keep it nice and neat. It doesn't, it shouldn't tangle. The less you've got to catch on there. So if people say, oh, I use heavy line or I have an extra loop like you do on a pole on elastic, forget it. Just leave it as it is nice and neat this works it's as long as the knots are pulled tight it won't come off it has never come off for me if it's slack yeah it'll unravel and all the rest of it but pull it tight loop on the loop and it's good today i'm going to start fishing with a three and a half meter whip it's my brand in profile and i've got the rig set up so it's about exact got the rig set up so it's about exactly a foot shorter that's the hook there shorter than the, the whip 0.1 gram float midi taking about three number tens and a 12 so two pound line fairly fine at the top here what I've done is I've got put a loop in on the end which push the the main bit of the line push the main bit of the line through the loop and then it's behind this little piece of silicon rubber here that's pushed up six inches from the end there's the end there and then make sure it's tight and then just turn the, the whip round just spiral it up the, the top there and just turning it quickly Pull that tight and then I've got a short piece of fine fairly stiff pole rubber just wet the end that fits nice and snugly on the end of the whip push that down over there so there's a bank uh, about four millimeters overlapping pull the line through nice and tight and that will never come off and because that end bends nicely it tends not to tangle so it's a very very good and very secure rig and we're ready to go like I say there's a little float here this 0.1 gram float very simple rig a short hook length of just six inches and that, that is it I've now got fishing away um, I hope for a fairly fast start and uh, tried to fish two swims it just didn't happen it took me about half an hour to catch two roach which were no great size but gradually, and uh, I started off fishing what I thought was shallow, fishing about two and a half foot deep. The fish weren't up in the water at all. And then I plumbed the depth a bit later and went down to find about five foot of water, fairly close in. And bear in mind, I'm only fishing a three and a half meter whip. And this swim really does fish better by fishing further out probably if I was on a pole seven or eight meters with a longer whip it would uh, probably work 
better with a sort of five meters to hand could go out that ex extra distance but as you can see that the little whip is coping with some quite decent fish uh, I think the best roach was maybe half a pound little hybrid of about four or five ounces roach rud hybrid of uh, maybe half a pound and some skimmers up to about 10 or 12 ounces uh, as the session went on and I only fished two hours at the most it was clear by the after about an hour and a half that it was fishing really quite well catching uh, roach and skimmers quite regularly the swim had come on properly and then the weather went all funny uh, it threatened to rain quite heavily although it didn't so rather than get very wet I packed up at that point as I say, this is just a, a short demonstration of fishing a, a short whip, a three and a half meter whip. Keep it simple, keep the shot in simple, and you're going to do all right. I'm going to just mention something about floats, and I'll look at floats more in more detail another day. When I started to do a lot of whip fishing, we're talking the very early 80s, we started to fish a couple of ponds near Corfe Castle for hundreds of tiny little rudd. And I quickly made some tiny little wagglers that I could fish bottom end only. And they're only about three inches long with little inserts and all the rest of it. And other anglers were just buying off the shelf wagglers, sort of three or four BB wagglers and fishing those. And that was in the summer and during the winter I started to practice on this whip fishing and to fish with little tiny pole floats that just took one or two, sort of number 10 and a number 8 and I found them vastly superior to little wagglers and people say oh fish a waggler on the whip and what they're saying is they get less tangles with a little waggler because it's bottom end only and it, the line's less low. But with practice, you can keep that laying it out in a straight line. You shouldn't get tangles. Obviously, occasionally you're going to get a fish. The hook pings out of a fish and it pings up into a great big knot. But by and large, you will do far, far better with little tiny top and bottom floats. You don't need heavy floats for this short whip work. When you start to get onto a river with five, six, seven, eight meters, long lining then you can start to fish with anything from sort of a third of a gram half a gram up three quarters of a gram a gram maybe a bit more probably not much more than that because pole fishing and whip fishing gives you the ability to use fairly light floats with a lot of delicacy that's it for this short second part of whip fishing next time given some decent weather, hope to uh, go and fish a, a longer whip, a system whip, and with a bit of luck on a, a bit of river where it's suitable to do that, another favourite method of mine. Until next time, it's goodbye for now.